Skies are appearing to be increasingly dark here as we uh, pass the bottom of the hour, not only because of the incoming showers and thunderstorms, but also the fact of the matter is we're getting close to sunset occurring before seven o'clock. That's a matter of only uh, two or three days away. 705 is when the sun officially sets here uh, tonight in a week that goes to 652. We'll lose another 12 minutes here by uh, September the 30th in two weeks. And as we uh, look ahead to October's opening days, three weeks from today, the sun sets before 630. It's remarkable just how quickly we are losing daylight this time of year. Temperatures today pretty close to normal. Highs in the 71 to 76 degree range. 75 is what's considered to be the norm here on this September the 16th. We've now since fallen into the 60s just about everywhere. You can clearly tell where we've had some rainfall. It's 61 right now in Dixon. By contrast, in Janesville, where they actually held on to sunshine just a little bit longer, it's still 73 degrees. There's a cold front that's sitting right on top of us here ahead of it. Southerly winds behind it, northerly winds. So we are going to see temperatures fall off rather quickly once this front moves through. Here's the latest on Max Storm Tracker, and things are becoming much more widespread in coverage uh, with these showers and thunderstorms. Important to note, we don't have any watches or warnings in place right now. These storms are far from being severe. Now that said, I do think there's a possibility of some heavy downpours. There's a possibility of some small hail. In fact, there have been reports of some small hail with these as well as some wind gusts. Now, as the sun goes down, I anticipate there to be a rapid weakening trend in this and Timecast absolutely nails that concept here moving forward. Now, still some backwash moisture on the back side of this system. We're heading down to 55. I do think we also have to worry about some patchy fog here especially as we go into early tomorrow morning. The severe weather threat to level one out of five, so a marginal risk. And again, maybe some hail and gusty winds. Uh, that is going to be a stretch to say the very least. Well, tomorrow we're going to re remain underneath this backwash moisture, so we'll keep a couple of showers in the forecast uh, through at least midday. Once we get past the midday hour and we see some more sunshine later in the day, temperatures should warm back up into the lower 70s. Lots of sunshine then for us on Monday, seasonable temperatures, and then a warming trend is to get underway. We certainly would love to get some beneficial rainfall out of this, especially as our rainfall deficit for the month is now at 1.46 inches, and we're closing in on 7 inches below normal for the year. Upper 60s to lower 70s tomorrow. I think we find, uh, find ourselves right at 70 with showers mainly early in the day. 73 on Monday. There is a small chance for a shower again on Tuesday. And then some summer like temperatures Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all featuring high temperatures right around 80 degrees. Yeah, okay. really interesting to see. I do like those cooler temperatures like 70s and 80s are nice. I mean, at least it's not humid, but I mean, it's right. Illinois. We're going all sorts of ways We're all over the place. And especially as fall officially begins later on in the week. Can't believe that's the case. Yeah, I know we already got to break up the sweatshirt. <laughs> so. Thanks so much, Mark. Coming up in sports, we'll get you caught up on the early slate of college football on Saturday as Wisconsin and Illinois take the field looking for week three wins. We're going to bring you highlights from both as